Hi everybody, I am Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding Indian Nursing Council that is INC. So Indian Nursing Council was established in 1949. Okay, it was established in 1949. The main responsibility of Indian Nursing Council is to maintain uniform standard of training for nurses. To maintain uniform standard of training for nurses. If you are studying in Kerala or in Karnataka or in Maharashtra or in any part of the country, there should be a uniform standard that is the same standard the syllabus should be same theory should be same practical everything all the criteria should be same only so all over the country in india the main responsibility of inc is to maintain a uniform standard of training for nurses while giving training to the nurses it should maintain a uniform standard everywhere in the country the syllabus and the training everything should be same to maintain that that is the responsibility of indian nursing council okay next we can see the organization chart of indian nursing council organization chart of indian nursing council In Indian Nursing Council, the first person is President. Okay, first person is President. Then after President, we can see Vice President. Vice President. After Vice President, the next person is Secretary. President, Vice President, Secretary. After Secretary, Assistant Secretary. Assistant Secretary. Then Office Staff. So, this is the organization chart of Indian Nursing Council. First person is President, then Vice President. After Vice President, next person is Secretary. After Secretary, Assistant Secretary. And the last one is Office Staff. We can see 15 Office Staff. This is the organization chart or the staffing pattern of Indian Nursing Council. Next, we can see the different committees coming under Indian Nursing Council. Different committees coming under Indian Nursing Council. The first committee is Executive Committee. First committee is Executive Committee. So, the role or the responsibility of the executive committee is to maintain uniform standard of training for nurses. So, executive committee is responsible to maintain the uniform standard of nursing programs. This committee is the responsible committee for such matters, issues related to the uniform standard and maintenance of the uniform standard of training for nurses, executive committee is responsible. Next committee is equivalence committee. Next committee is equivalence committee. Equivalence committee. So, equivalence committee is responsible to the issues related to the recognition of foreign qualification. Equivalence committee is responsible for the issues related to the recognition of foreign qualification. The issues related to the foreign matters. 
foreign matters equivalence committee is responsible for example a person who is not the citizen of india he is not the citizen of india but he want to work in india as a nurse now regarding his qualification regarding his registration regarding the recognition for the foreign qualification all these matters are solved by equivalence committee coming under inc so equivalence committee is responsible for the recognition of foreign qualification all the issues related to the foreign qualification equivalence committee is responsible okay next committee is the nursing education committee the nursing education committee sorry the nursing education committee the nursing education committee the name itself the education committee the matters related to the nursing education the syllabus the curriculum the guidelines regarding the policies of the nursing education all these matters the responsible committee is nursing education committee so nursing education committee is responsible for the nursing educational matters the uh, matter related to the nursing education the education part the responsible committee is nursing education committee this committee is responsible for the syllabus curriculum policies related to the nursing education this committee the nursing education committee is responsible related to the education but executive committee is responsible to maintain the standard of training for the nurses here it is related to the nursing education matter nursing education committee is responsible next committee is finance committee the last committee is finance committee so finance committee the name itself it is related to the money it is related to the budget the budget matters related to the inc that is the income of the inc as well as the expenditure of the inc all these matters are solved or all these issues related to the income and expenditure of the indian nursing council the problem is solved by finance committee finance committee is responsible to the money related matters of the indian nursing council so you can see four committees coming under indian nursing council that is executive committee equivalence committee the nursing education committee and the finance committee okay these are the four committees coming under indian nursing council next we can see regarding the types of inspection conducted by indian nursing council the types of inspection let's see one by one the first one is first inspection the types of inspection conducted by indian nursing council first one is first inspection first inspection from the name itself first the first time inc is conducting an inspection for example suppose any institution or any college want to start a nursing college or nursing school now they will apply to the indian nursing council to conduct first inspection as per the proposal of the institution inc will conduct a inspection to start a new college that is first inspection first time conducting the inspection to give the recognition to start a new nursing college that is first inspection okay next one is periodic inspection next type of inspection conducted by inc is periodic inspection periodic inspection that means at a regular interval or a regular period inc will conduct a inspection that means first inspection is finished and a college got the recognition that is not a 
last procedure it is just a starting only at a regular interval at a regular period of time inc will conduct periodic inspection for this periodic inspection the institution should pay the fees for the renewal annual renewal fees they have to pay so at a particular interval or at a particular period of time inc will conduct periodic inspection that is a second type of inspection next one is reinspection next type of inspection is reinspection reinspection means again conducting a inspection okay that is reinspection for example INC has given recognition to a college but during the periodic inspection INC found that this institution is unfit this institution is not following the criteria or the protocols of the INC some deficiencies are there for example staffing pattern there is no sufficient staff in that institution or the problem related to the infrastructure of the institution or the problems related to some documents inc is finding that some deficiencies are there in that college that time inc will inform to that institution that such and such deficiencies are there in your college now once the institution is taking the step to solve that problem once they solve that problem they are taking a necessary step to solve the problem okay after solving that problem informed by the indian nursing council now they will apply for the reinspection for reinspection also that institution will pay fees after getting the application from that institution inc will conduct a reinspection reinspection means again inc is conducting an inspection the reason is the inc found that some deficiencies are there in that institution and inc is informing regarding that deficiencies after that the institution is solving that problem then they are applying to the inc again the inc is coming and they are doing an inspection that is re-inspection so you can see three types of inspection under indian nursing council first one is first inspection next one is periodic inspection and the last one is re-inspection okay next we can see the functions of indian nursing council different functions of indian nursing council the main function of the indian nursing council is to maintain uniform standard of training for nurses that is the main function to maintain a uniform or the same standard of training for nurses all over the country wherever it may be if you are studying nursing means it should be a uniform standard there should not be a change if you are studying in kerala there is a difference if you are studying in karnataka there is a difference it is not like that wherever you are studying in india it should be a uniform standard that is the main function of the inc the next function of the inc is to prescribe the syllabus inc is prescribe the syllabus for different nursing programs like anm gnm bsc nursing like that for the different nursing program inc is prescribing the syllabus and inc is implementing that syllabus that is the second function of inc that is prescribing the syllabus okay that is the second function next function is to give recognition to a nursing college or to a nursing school inc has the power to give the recognition to a nursing college or to a nursing school after the inspection inc has the power to give the recognition to the nursing school or to the nursing college that is the third function of the indian nursing council the fourth function is to withdraw the recognition of the nursing college and nursing school not only to give the recognition inc has the power to withdraw the recognition of the nursing college and nursing school suppose inc is found that this institution is unfit that time inc has the power to withdraw that recognition okay next to advise the 
state nursing council next function is to advise the state nursing council and examination board and to the state and central government inc will advise regarding the issues related to the nursing education so inc is providing advice to the state nursing council to the examination board to the state and central government regarding nursing education these are the functions of indian nursing council next we can see the different programs under inc different programs under inc different nursing programs under inc first one is anm first program is anm under inc is anm first program is a n m that is auxiliary nurse midwifery next one is g n m g n m that is general nursing and midwifery next one is b s c nursing next program is post basic b s c nursing next one is msc nursing next one is m phil last one is doctorate in nursing these are the programs coming under inc that is anm gnm bsc nursing it is a bachelor degree nursing and post basic bsc nursing that means a person who is having the diploma diploma in nursing that is gnm and now he want to upgrade his diploma to degree so he can do a two year program that is post basic bsc nursing after gnm and after completing the bsc nursing or post basic bsc nursing if you want to take master degree in nursing he can do msc nursing then m phil at last doctorate in nursing that is phd okay these are the programs coming under indian nursing council that's all regarding indian nursing council we will meet soon with another video till that thank you and goodbye